Earth is surrounded by rocky bodies and bits of debris from when the solar system formed roughly 4.5 billion years ago. On Saturday, one of those leftover rocks will was past Earth. The asteroid is called 2024 MK, and, at its closest, it will pass roughly 290,000 kilometers from Earth. While we have plenty of small asteroids that are scattered within Earth's orbit, this one is sizable, ranging anywhere from 120 meters to 260 meters in diameter. But there's another interesting, and somewhat disquieting, fact about this large asteroid. Hello, and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Maybe the big take-home point on this one is it's a pretty big object and it was only found 10 or 12 days before closest approach, said Peter Brown, Canada Research Chair in Meteor Astronomy and a professor at Western University in London, Ontario. The last time we had an object this big or bigger past this close to Earth was in 2001. So unlike most asteroid stories, this actually is noteworthy in the sense of this is pretty big, pretty close. According to Alan Fitzsimmons, a planetary scientist at Queen's University Belfast in Northern Ireland, at its closest, 2024 Malawian quatches will be visible from the Southern Hemisphere. The following night it will be in the constellation Scorpius, which is low in the south in Canada. However, don't expect to see it. It won't be visible to the unaided eye, and, Fitzsimmons added to those who may have telescopes, you've got to have to know exactly where to look. It's motoring. Fortunately, it won't impact Earth. But it would be a bad day if it did. This is a big object. An object of this size is going to have the equivalent impact energy in the hundreds of megaton approaching a gigaton, Brown said. That'd be a regional impact. It's the sort of thing that if it hit the east coast of the US, you would have catastrophic effects over most of the eastern seaboard. But it's not big enough to affect the whole world. Bigger, closer asteroids. The appearance of 2024 Malawian quatches is timely. It's passing by just nine days after NASA released a report on the results of an asteroid threat simulation conducted in early April. And it's making an appearance just one day ahead of Asteroid Day which is held annually on June 30th. Asteroid Day, sanctioned by the United Nations, was started in 2014 by astrophysicist and former Queen musician Brian May along with Apollo 9 astronaut Rusty Schweikart, along with a few others. The goal is to inform the public about asteroids and their potential threats, as well as calling on governments to work on asteroid detection programs. The threat of asteroids or comets impacting Earth is a very real concern. Though there are multiple sky surveys looking for potentially hazardous asteroids PHA. In fact, one of them, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Atlas, discovered 2024 Malawian quatches last week. Both Brown and Fitzsimmons say that at any one time there is a 10-meter asteroid somewhere between Earth and the Moon. Essentially, Earth is plowing through debris all the time. Meteors burn up in our atmosphere all the time. It's just that most of them are small and go unnoticed. Brown said that even bigger impacts may go unnoticed as they may impact over the ocean. But in 1994, the astronomical world was shocked to see the effects of several pieces of a comet slamming into Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Then in 2013, the reminder that we're in a cosmic shooting gallery hit home. On February 15th, a 20-meter-wide rock impacted over entered Earth's atmosphere over Chelyabinsk, Russia, causing a massive air burst that blew out windows in the area, injuring roughly 1,000 people. Fitzsimmons said that Asteroid Day is a reminder that we're not just sitting ducks. It's the only natural disaster that we can stop. You can't stop a tsunami, you can't stop an earthquake, you can't stop a volcano, he said. You can actually stop or prevent an asteroid impact, at least in theory. And NASA put that to the test in 2021 with its double asteroid redirection test, DART, mission where it used a spacecraft to redirect an asteroid. It was hailed as a success and a follow-up mission by the European Space Agency's HERA mission to further quantify the results will launch in October. NASA's OSIRIS-RX mission, which visited the asteroid Bennu and returned a sample to Earth in 2023, has been given a new mission called OSIRIS-APEX, 
The spacecraft will visit the infamous asteroid Apophis. At one point, it was believed the 320-meter-wide asteroid had a risk of impacting Earth in 2068, however, that has now been ruled out. But it will swing extremely close to Earth in 2029. So close that it will be within the region of our geostationary satellites, at roughly 30,000 kilometers from Earth. So, 2024, MK is sort of the leader in the next four or five years to a couple of really big events, Brown said. Of course, the one everybody knows about is Apophis in April 2029. That's a once-in-millennia event. Nothing in historic times has been that close, that big to us. But there's also an asteroid called 2001WN5, and it's actually going to pass closer than 2024 Malawian Quachas. And it's a monster. It's a kilometer in size. Thankfully, NASA and other space agencies are working hard to find all the PHAs. To date it's believed that most objects one kilometer and larger have been found. As for 2024 Malawian Quachas, Fitzsimmons said that this is an opportunity for astronomers to study it, even if it is only a brief pass. A team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has plans to map it using Earth-based radar telescopes. On a seemingly ordinary Saturday, an extraordinary event will unfold in the vast expanse of space. A large asteroid is set to pass between Earth and the Moon. This event is not just a reminder of the dynamic nature of our solar system, but also a call to reflect on the scientific, existential, and practical implications of such celestial encounters. The event, a close encounter with a large asteroid. Asteroids, remnants from the early solar system, occasionally make close passes to Earth. This particular asteroid, substantial in size, will traverse a path that brings it closer to our planet than the Moon. Such an event is relatively rare, making it a significant occurrence for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The exact dimensions and speed of the asteroid add layers of intrigue and concern, as scientists utilize this opportunity to study its characteristics and trajectory, scientific opportunities and challenges. This close approach offers a unique opportunity for scientific observation and data collection. Researchers can study the asteroid's composition, structure, and behavior in ways not possible with more distant objects. Advanced telescopes and radar systems will be employed to capture detailed images and measurements, contributing to our understanding of these primordial space rocks. However, the event also poses challenges. Accurate tracking and prediction of the asteroid's path require precise calculations and constant monitoring. Any deviation, however slight, could alter the expected trajectory necessitating rapid adjustments in observation strategies. The importance of planetary defense. This near-Earth flyby underscores the importance of planetary defense initiatives. While the asteroid in question poses no immediate threat to Earth, its close approach serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers lurking in space. History provides a somber context. The asteroid impact that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs approximately 66 million years ago is a poignant example of the catastrophic potential of such encounters. In response to these risks, space agencies worldwide, including NASA and ESA, have developed programs to detect, track, and potentially deflect hazardous asteroids. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART, mission, which aims to alter the course of an asteroid by impacting it with a spacecraft exemplifies proactive measures to safeguard our planet. Existential reflections and public interest. Beyond the scientific and practical implications, the asteroid's flyby invites broader existential reflections. The vastness of space and the relative fragility of Earth are brought into sharp focus. Such events remind humanity of our place in the cosmos and the delicate balance that sustains life on our planet. Public interest in these celestial phenomena often spikes with the announcement of such events. Media coverage and educational outreach can help demystify space science, inspiring curiosity and appreciation for the field. Moreover, they can highlight the importance of continued investment in space research and exploration. Conclusion The passage of a large asteroid between Earth and the Moon is a remarkable event with multifaceted implications. It offers invaluable scientific opportunities, underscores the importance of planetary defense, 
and prompts reflections on our place in the universe. As we observe this celestial visitor's journey, we are reminded of the dynamic nature of our solar system and the ongoing need to study and understand the cosmos for the betterment of humanity. Thank you for watching and see you next time.